in this video we are going to see what is contextual retrieval uh, how do we use it to start with it is a variant of rag where the whole point is you give context to every chunk of notes that you are ingesting into your vector database so this is this blog is from anthropic i'll add the link in description what these guys are trying to do is for every chunk of the data, they are asking LLM to give a context for that chunk. So let's say my chunk size is 2000. So for every chunk of 2000, they'll be asking LLM to give a context for what information is there in that chunk. So if you have a vast data set and to give you more accurate retrieval answers, what you can do is you can use LLMs to give you context for every chunk that you're ingesting in. And now, instead of ingesting directly your chunks, you will be ingesting context as well as chunks for that particular chunk. What this does is, firstly, it improves your retrieval accuracy. Your retrieval is more, much more accurate right now in this case. And uh, secondly, what it does is, it also has a knowledge of what it is trying to retrieve. Okay, so rather than uh, looking into a whole document for your answer, it can directly filter out from the context and then give you your answer. Uh, now, what it does is it stores this context into a metadata. So what it will do is uh, for every chunk, LLM will give you a context. That context will be stored as a metadata. And then while retrieving, it uses directly the information from metadata and sees what all chunks need to be filtered in order for you to get the answers. Uh, you can go to their cookbook to get the information, but what they are doing is they usually use re-rankers as well as you need EPA key. But as an alternative, what I've done is I've created a contextual retriever.ipynb, uh, pushed it to a GitHub. I'll give you a Git repo link for this. In this, what you can do is you can directly go to this and set your LLM on some VLLM. After that, you can just give your API key, your model name uh, on which your VLLM has been set. Right now, I was using Meta 3.170 billion instruct model, which gave me quite good answer when I compared it with a uh, non-contextual retrieval. And uh, in this notebook, I'm using Milverse Vector as an vector storage. I'll give you a quick walkthrough of the notebook. It starts with me importing all the libraries. After that, setting all the parameters. Here is the place where I told you, you will be giving your URL where uh, your VLM will be deployed. And you can change name of your model, API key, everything according to whatever you uh, are choosing to go with. Now load your documents. Here you will be giving a folder path inside which all the files will be there. Usually contextual retrieval gives you like it is much more uh, logical and sensible to use contextual retrieval when your document is way longer because uh, then it will be giving you much more accurate answers as it will be having context for every chunk of the documents that is being ingested into your vector deep. Uh, here we are creating node and as you can see, I'm asking my LLM to give me uh, context for every chunk that I'm ingesting. This is the place where uh, I'm giving context for every chunk. Node is the chunk that I'm ingesting into my uh, vector service. Moving forward here, we are creating embedding of that chunk, which will take both the scenarios, uh, your embedding as well as your chunk, as well as the context. Uh, you can see here I'm using Milvas vector store and it is hosted on 19530, which is by default uh, the port that Milvas uses. Next, uh, for comparison, I have also given a function which uses normal embedding as well as contextual embedding. And at the end, you can ask your questions to your normal index as well as your contextual embedding index. You will get to know what is the difference between both of them. That is all for this video. Thank you.